Renata Stein uh, works often with, this is a combination of nature and manufactured detritus. There's tar paper, there's metal, there's a playing card, and this is called watching a leaf drift by. This guy is very, very trippy, I think. He's all made from bleach bottles or detergent bottles. Roberta de Jesus. And it's the first time he's ever been in one of our shows, so I'm hoping that he will continue to create new pieces because look at all the trash he saved and re remade into something that is priceless instead of useless. This is the difference, I think, between art and trash. Here's a lovely little collage by Nancy Prusanowski, and it's tiny little mosaic pieces from, uh, it looks like either photographs or art cards, and we don't need to know precisely what things have come from. I think it's just the beauty that, and the, and the creativity, the idea that she made a collage that comes out into the air. And uh, if, you, if you want, you can make it shallower or you can even fold it up entirely to look at. Bernice Feigenberg, uh, this is all a painting and collage created from children's art that was thrown away. You know, kids, they paint, they throw it away, they start a new one. And she's made it into artwork of her own. And you can see there are small little digital photographs of children at the top. This is a fascinating piece here by Elizabeth Rhodes Reed. It's all fireworks that didn't explode correctly. I don't think they're dangerous. I hope not. But um, it's interesting, and I thought the contrast uh, of the implicit danger of this next to just a human bone by uh, uh, Catherine Ellinger Smith called The Bone of Contention. She's written all over it. I think it's an unhappy love affair is my guess, but I haven't read the details. Henry Klimowitz is an interesting artist because part of his work First of all, it's made from corrugated cardboard, a very lowly material that we have far too much of, but he also incorporates shadow into his work, and that is also a very ephemeral thing that doesn't uh, destroy the environment, but makes a beautiful, beautiful artwork. Laura Osterwitz, looks like an ordinary painting, but it's not because it's all made from eye makeup that's been left over. And here in the corner, Leonard Rosenfeld, has, it's called the Orange Flap, and it's his work. He's no longer alive, he died last year, but he made these incredible things from telephone wires that he had found on the street, and he would put them over uh, uh, like a, a grid made of wood, like a paint stretcher, painting stretcher. And instead of creating a painting on it, he'd create the artwork from the wire. And here's a funny little thing by Larry Zeb. It's called Indian Purse, made in India. It's a tiny little purse. Ursula Clark and Richard Brockman got together and they created, uh, what do you call those, lifesavers? And they're saving the environment with corks and plastic bags and little uh, clothespins. And below, these are pretty powerful pieces by Stephen Soroff made from um, real knives and bits that he has soldered together of other found objects. Bernice Kramer's, uh, it's a collage created from the back pages of the Village Voice. She calls them old friends, but these are really, you know, those ladies who are not really identified by their real name, but you can call them and you can talk to them for, you know, $2 a minute, or I don't know how much they cost, $10 a minute. Um, but it's kind of a trippy piece. Usually she does them very small, but for this show she did a nice, nice large one, so we get a real sense of the message and implicit in it. Helene Solar, it's all from bottle caps plastic bottle caps. And Lynn Kroll, renewal is tea and coffee stained papers. 
mixed with uh, some life, uh, leaf skeletons and some blossoms. But it, again, it looks very traditional, but it's not because of its use of materials, creative use of materials. Susan Hamperset, um, these are all collages created from old magazines of the 40s and 50s, before some of you were born. Detritus from Making Art by Ed Herman. This is all uh, stuff that he's just kind of coated with resin. And here is the Marcel Duchamp of the 21st century by Linnea Cole. The bicycle wheel, the stool, the feather, ah, a little piece of her sculpture. Kathleen King, diva for St. George. I'm not quite sure which St. George she's referring to, but it's a combination of uh, natural and uh, manufactured objects. She works with incredible detail. Kathleen Hendrick, angst unleashed. And this is the one I was talking about before that is from the art process of making prints, this was paper that was thrown away and she rescued it. Who knows, maybe she went through the garbage. Eleanor Elkin, zipper guy. Rebecca Mueller created a piece of wire mesh and I have a confession to make. When we installed it, we didn't have the photograph. And we put it together one way, and then afterwards we discovered the photo, and it was meant to be in installed another way. So this is a piece that you can change. Uh, Marsha Bernstein works a great deal with the egg, the, you know, the cardboard egg containers and the tubing that you see all over the streets of New York that uh, either paper might be rolled on or fabric, and she then creates these beautiful constructions from it. And here's another bleach bottle, or soap bottle, by uh, Carolyn, I can't say her name, she's, she's Dutch, and she comes from Holland, Adaranch, perhaps. Carol Brooks uh, is represented by Viridian artists, and this is a piece, let me see the title here. Uh, it's called Silver. And if I could figure out how to do it, she said if you put a quarter here, it will light up. But either the batteries are dead, or I just didn't put the quarter in the right place. But this is an interactive piece. Annalise Bischoff from Massachusetts did this. These are melted pieces of plastic. And she calls them the Greek Jewel series. They're very, very tiny, but they're, they are like jewels. Barbara K. Schwartz. Uh, again, looks like a conventional collage. It's called Fireworks at East Hampton, but it's got uh, some grommets in it and some plastic, as well as uh, 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 fragments of a print, a serigraph print. This is very trippy. These one, two, three, four, five, seven discs, can you guess what they are? They're paper plates, used paper plates. And uh, he draws all kinds of crazy stuff on them. Okay, uh, and his name and his name is uh, Russ Underlab.